CFA Nation, Gabe. Nick. Oh, man, and we are here today for another episode of Cricket Convos. Cricket Convos. You see my man Nick rocking an RCB jersey, rocking a Mumbai Indians hat. You can see me right here with the CSK. That's right, tonight, Super Kings hat. So you guys know what we're here to talk about. Obviously, you probably read it in the comment description. That's why you're here. <laughs> but Maybe. with all that being said, Nick, oh, man, I tell you right now, the IPL just got interesting. You know. Uh, got uh, more uh, interesting. Got more interesting than it already was. And one of the things we saw or we were talking about the day we started watching the IPL is like, mm -hmm. This league needs to expand like day one because we've got uh, we're looking at rosters. And I remember watching the very first season of the IPL and saying, bro, how is Mitchell Satner just sitting there and not he didn't get a game. I don't think he got a game for CSK. All right. Um, you've got guys that are considered greats like uh, uh, Amir uh, 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 Imran Tahir. Right. Was also playing for CSK. Did not get a sniff. He might have gotten one thing. Years old. So many 72 years old, you brutal. But so many guys <laughs> just don't get a chance to play because, you know, you can only play 11, and these rosters are super deep. So they say you could add two more teams. And lo and behold, Nick, two years later, it's like they've been watching CFA Nation. Two more hey, teams listen. added. And I got to say, I like what these, these teams what these teams did. Dude, you can tell. I mean, at least I think I can tell with the selections they made, and especially with the Midabod did. You can tell they're excited. They're ready to go. They are ready to get their feet wet, so to speak, in the pool of the IPL. And, I mean, it's just, I know why RCB has never won one. I didn't have the jersey yet. I got the jersey now. And not only, see, listen, this hat, Mumbai, I love the team. I got the shirt that uh, Savannah made me, which I really appreciate it. But I've never liked this hat, this bill. Like, it's just, right, it's right. the best that we can get out here, right? Right, right, right. So it's time, it's time to get a real hat on, my friend. Oh! Oh, oh, I'm hating! I'm hating the RCB with the flat bill. With the flat now, I bill. Gotta get a, I gotta get a moon, but I was just thinking that this a few minutes ago. I'm like, I gotta get my guy on the horn who does the custom hats and get me a moon by. But Ooh. check out this. This is custom made. I'll uh, I'll check out the guy's name, put the link below. He does custom hats here in the States. And you just got to send him a picture. I sent him the logo, and he's like, let me see what I can do for you. And he came with the rest. So this is this is my RCB gear. gear. This is what we need to bring that cup home, baby. But before we get to that, this I'm, is not I'm, that kind of video. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. RCB wins the championship. You heard it here first. Oh, wow. Bro, without you, one game being played. You yeah, watched him game. already. It's Bro, over. you got the gear. You got the you super it's fan, Nick. Super look fan, Nick. That's it. It says right here. It says Muth, Muthu. Should be saying <laughs> Mush. Mushu. Come on, man. How could you do that to us already? I'm just but saying. Super excited about the news about these two new teams. Lucknow and Minabod. We joined the IPL. And they have decided on their three guys that they're taking. The other teams were able to protect as high as four different players. Every additional player was going to cost them some more money. Some teams like the Punjab Kings, no one wanted to come back, so they only protected two, right? right? But we got these new teams. And let's start with Luck Now, okay? And I love that name. I mean, they, they got the luck of now, baby. Oh, the puns write themselves. The puns write themselves. But, Gabe, why don't you announce the three players that they decided – to lead their squad or to, well, think, to join their squad. I think look now did something very interesting because right off the bat, they probably went with one of the biggest fish out there. One of the top scorers in the IPL, Kale Raul, oh right? Kale Raul season after season, at least the last few seasons has been up there and one of the top scoring. Uh, second. Uh, oh yeah. Exactly. And mind you, he plays less games. Cause let's be real. All right. The, uh, 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 Punjab Kings aren't getting them. <laughs> they don't go to no playoffs. It's in no. the playoffs. Let's just be real. All right. So, know. you know, this guy's amazing. He was just named Indian uh, uh, test captain. I believe. Well, did he get named test captain, or is that still rumors going around? But his I name think he's he, not official. He's going he's gonna to captain in the ODI series, but he's not like the official captain as far as I know. And, you know, Kale Raul has so much talent. Obviously, Punjab needs to get their stuff together because when he said he wants out, that is a sad situation. And I love that they went and got themselves – 
Kale Rao. The guy, it, it, you got yourself a captain. You got yourself a wicket keeper. You got yourself an opening batsman. It was the smartest move. It was, it was, the, it was the biggest fish out there, so I love what they did. At the same time, Lucknow also got one of my favorite spinners, one of my favorite bowlers, Bishnoi. I, again, oh, Punjab, what are you doing? Bro, Bishnoi could not, did not bowl the first part of the year, Nick. Did not get a game in like the first eight games or seven games. When it was like, why? Why bury this guy? Bring him in. Can at I the say end. something about Bishnoi? Please. Can I say something about him? Please. Who was his captain the last team he was on? K.O. Raul. Now, if there's any chance, any chance whatsoever that he was part of that problem, it's really interesting that luck now, first of all, it's super interesting that of all the guys they chose, and we love Bishnoy. This right. guy, I hope this makes sense, but it's probably not going to, to any cricket fan. This guy reminds me of a pacer, not because of how fast he throws it, but because of how deadly this guy is with his spin. I mean, it's like having another pay. I go, we got to worry about this guy. He is so dynamic. He is so effective. And he's a spin bowler for crying out loud. But K.R. Raul's his previous captain. Never knew how to play him. Oh, he can only play at certain times. What are you talking about? Is he like 13 years old? It's like a labor law or something like that. Like he can't play too many matches or something. K.R. Raul, hopefully it wasn't him. And hopefully he understands they're paying this guy some money. I'm going to play him every game. No, no, That's absolutely, dude. And, and and just to be, you know, just to just to give you an idea, Nick, uh, Bishnoi last year played nine games. I wasn't exaggerating. Crime. Nine games Crime. because they refused to play in the beginning part of the year. It wasn't because of injury. And how many wickets did he get? What's go, what was going on? And it's frustrating, right? Nine games, twelve wickets. All right, the guy's economy, exactly. yo, economy rate Crime. like at six, Nick. Like this kid is young. He's fun to watch. I just do not understand why they hate a uh, 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 Bishnoi as much as they do. And other guys, and you know, I love me, for instance, guys that are above them on the list, Dadeja, 16 games, uh, uh, 13 wickets, all right? Uh, Chahar, uh, 11 games, 13 wickets. I mean, this guy, Trent Bolt, right? Trent Bolt, you, people wouldn't argue Trent Bolt's one of the best – uh, bowlers out there, Nick, right? Again, uh, 14 games, 13 wickets. As a matter of fact, uh, he is basically one spot behind last year, uh, Norkia, who he missed a lot of games as well. He was because of injury. Norkia had exact same amount of wickets, one less game. Norkia had eight games, eight wickets. Uh, economy rate, surprisingly the same, 6.16, and he's 6.34. Uh, but to your point, Nick, he's a spinner. I think it was a genius move, Crazy. and I think that them Kel Raul had to be their first pick. So I think they went to Kel Raul and said, you know, these are the other guys we're looking at. What do you think? Because he's going to be a cheaper option, right? And he said, but without a fact, get me Bishnoi. That's how I look at it. Because if you didn't want him on there, he would have been like, I don't want him. He probably said, without a fact, get me Bishnoi. Because why would you bring in Kel Raul to be the face of your franchise, the captain, and bring a guy that he doesn't believe in? I don't believe for a second it was it, uh, Kale Raul. I believe it was the Punjab Kings who did the same thing to the universe boss, did the same to be. They, they don't they hate their players. They hate their players. And I don't they know. If you're a Punjab Kings fan, you got to be sick to your stomach. Last thing, Nick, Stoinis, Hulk. They, got, they went and got themselves Marcus Stoinis. Now, got himself an all-rounder. I think it's important to have an all-rounder. This is probably the one selection I would have probably said, ah, but I understand there's money. There's other guys you could have gone to. The good thing about Marcus Stoinis is that he's a middle order guy. He could bat towards the, uh, uh, the, the middle or tail end of that um, lineup. He's an all-rounder, and you ended up getting yourself two Indian players and only one international player. Very smart by the Lucknow franchise. Yeah, yeah the Stoinis one really surprised me. I, I... You know, I have nothing against Stoinis whatsoever, but I, he's on my team. I don't trust him. I don't right. trust him. He can wreck the game, and he can help you out very, very much. And then he can just kind of go quietly a few matches where it's like, is there a Stoinis around here? We're not too sure. Right. They took him away from D.C., who D.C. had a plethora of guys that can hurt you. Right. Right. So that's very, very interesting. They plucked two guys from the Kings and one from D.C. The Bishnoi move I love, and it's 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 ballsy. We're not going to take one of the top pacers that's still available. We're taking a spinner and a young spinner, uncapped player in Bishnoi. I love Bishnoi. Love Kale Raul. 
I, I'm okay on stories, but that one really, really surprised me. But Amidabod, oh my gosh, Amidabod. That's the second franchise that's new. I don't even think we have a name yet. We got we got their coaches and their directors, all that kind of stuff. And we have the three players that they picked up. And so before we go to Amidabod, anything else you want to mention about Luck Now? I kind of cut you off there. No, 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 no. And I think that Luck Now did a good, uh, a, a good job building. I think getting a wicket keeper opening batsman, that was a brilliant move as far yeah. as uh, right. uh, the franchise is concerned. If I would have done anything different, Nick, it would have been to get myself another Indian, uh, uh, another Indian player. Okay, take all. Then, get yeah, as many as you can yeah, because then you can go into the auction Gosh. and get those overseas guys, right? But you know that you can. If, if me personally, bro, there's other guys I probably would have gone under, uh, gone after. It's not like Stoinis is like Glenn Maxwell. He's not the big show, right? Where okay, I could see you blowing the bag on Glenn Maxwell. No disrespect to Stoinis, okay? But just saying, it's not like he is one of those big, big top marquee guys that just is, it, it's, you know, you're thinking about spinners, uh, uh, all-rounders, like a Glenn Maxwell who went for t- big money, Moeen Ali, those guys. If you get an Indian player, you put yourself in such a better position. I probably myself would have gone with another Indian batsman, maybe even another opening batsman uh, like Prithvi Shah. I don't believe he was retained, so I would have gone with Prithvi Shah. Um, it would have been smart to go with him. Um, no, but he bro, was retained, just, actually. It, it, it is what he it is, retained. man. They, they made their decision, and I think they still uh, put themselves in a position to succeed. I'll tell you right now, without even looking at what the rest of this franchise looks like, Nick, I like look now better than I like the Punjab Kings right now. Just saying. Oh, just man, saying. Dude. dude, I think that the team down the street is better than Punjab right now. I mean, gosh, geez, Louise, so they're so... It's so they're, they're they're bad. I mean, Kings fans. Even the listen. Even the Kings fans we interact with, they're like, we know. <laughs> You're not telling anything we don't know. Um, but hopefully, you know, sometimes you just gotta like burn everything down and start up. They only retain two players. The answer to your question earlier, Prithvi Shaw was retained by DC. Listen, and this is a guy that was not taken by the team. I'm going to mention in just a second, Minabod. But I'm super surprised. Patty Cole, what did he do? Why did he tick off so many people? Are you kidding me? Another opener that you could have with KL Raul on your brand new team? I didn't even come from the land of expansion teams, which is what this is. But most expansion teams, besides the Golden Knights, go Vegas, baby. They start off horribly. It takes them years to build up and get some play. You can get a Devdit right now. I mean, you could have got him for what? He's uh, he's not even capped. I don't think. Maybe he was capped for a quick minute, so you can get him for the four. I don't know. I don't I don't get it. That's what I would have done. But I just, you know, RCB, I love Devin. The good thing about that is no one picked it up. So RCB, go get your boy back. Please go get your boy back. All right. So let's talk about a Metabod. Because this team, holy cow. I know you like this team. Um, they got Hardik Pandya, Rashid Khan. I mean, we knew someone was gonna take Ooh. him, Ooh. and Shubman Gill. Okay. Two Indian-born players, one uh, um, overseas player. Right. Rashid Khan, I mean, if no one's going to take Rashid Khan, Best of the I would have quit the IPL. Best I would have quit the IPL because no one's trying anymore. That's right. just ridiculous. Here's what's interesting about what Aminabad did. They decided, and more than likely the, um, the experts, the predictors are saying that Pandya will be named captain, first time ever in the IPL. Right. They decided to give both Pandya and Rashid Khan top billing pay. 15 crores both of them you just give your top guy 15 then 11 and then seven i think it is or four i think it is right. uh, uh, sorry what is it is it 15 and then i think 11 or seven and then four they gave them both 15 because that's how much they want to respect these guys that's how much they love these guys i love that i absolutely love that i think personally a huge mumbai fan from what i've seen recently hopefully he's healthy now i think that's overpaying on hardik pandya to be honest right the guy's got the ability. And maybe Mumbai, maybe he was dying at number five, right? Maybe he wasn't being used where he should. I mean, let us know in the comment section. First of all, do you think he's worth top billing pay? And he's, you know, cap, all that kind of stuff. Can he go as high as a three in an order and be like that? Coley like that assassin in the order where he's not used to much. That one really surprised me. Shubman Gill, you got another opening, you got an opening batsman right there. And then Rashid Khan. I mean, another spinner. 
Sorry, Pacers. This is a spinner's world in the IPL. And a minute, bot. I remember that series. What was it, England? Oh, man, was that track spinning. So what do you think about these guys? Well, you know, here's the thing. I, 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 I'm a little – I'm not as impressed. And I'm just, just, just being candid. I'm not as impressed really? with, their, with their whole wow. as I am with uh, Luck Now, okay? First and foremost, I think they got the best bowler. So, you know, good on you. By, by going out and grabbing yourself uh, the best bowler in Rashid Khan that I think was available. I would take Rashid Khan above most spinners. Plus, it, we're talking about playing as a subcontinent where you know spin is going to play, Nick, right? So that's a big uh, thing in and of itself. But, right. again, when we're talking about uh, uh, building a team, Sam Drew Sampson, all right? What's been the knock on Sandrew Sampson, Nick? Oh, my gosh. I mean, he's feast or famine with the bat, that's for sure. You know, this guy, like, the thing about Sandrew Sampson is, like, for instance, Nick, uh, you know, his lack of captaincy, for instance. Absolutely. Um, and, and the guy in 14 games last year got you 484 runs. Shubman Gill, who I love, and you know that, same thing, bro. Like, like, who's the leader on this team, Nick? Who's their captain? Please don't tell me it's hard at Pandia. Shubman Gill. That's had, what people are had, thinking. Had three more games, seventeen games than Sandrew Sampson. And the only reason I bring him up is because he's the captain of his team. I'm assuming Sandrew Sampson, uh, Shubman Gill is going to be the captain of this team, but he won't even give no. the captain. No. Then who is it going to be? Rashid Khan going to make a bowl of your captain? Accor according, according to ESPN Crick Info, which we trust. They're saying it's probably gonna be Pandya. It's gonna be either Pandya or Khan because they're both top billing. You're not gonna they're not gonna have Gilby captain. There's no way. Maybe I'm wrong. I know that this happens in tests. Is there another uh, uh IPL team which has a bowler as captain? I, I just don't I, maybe I'm mistaken, maybe I'm forgetting. Let us know in the That's comments. That's why it's probably gonna be Hardik Pandya. That's why okay, it's, it, it, you say it's probably gonna be uh Hardik Pandya. So yeah, here is it is, is is my problem, Nick. Hardik Pandya scored less runs than Crunel. All right, played one less game. He scored 127 runs. Isn't it the other way around? Crunel Pandya is the more the bowler, and Hardik Pandya is your all rounder more, uh, more towards the batsman. You look at Absolutely. him, you can't even see his, he ain't everywhere. On but you got to remember, you got Crunel usually comes in at four. Usually comes in at four if it's not Kyron Pollard. If it's Kyron Pollard, then Crunel comes at five, and Hardik comes in at six. They save him just save us in the death. That's all they use him for. Okay, maybe situational. Maybe situational. But I know he's Crunel had the back way issues. More I know he's had the back issues, Nick. I honestly am still trying to figure out where he's at as far as bowlings. I want to know how many. I can't find him. I don't know how many wickets he took last year. Did he take any wickets at all? Um, I don't know. According to this site, they're talking about his career in the IPL. 32 wickets in 29 games, okay? Right. And, again, his back has not been right for quite some time. This guy, he – we have not seen it. So, people, you're watching this video like, what are you talking about? Hardik's a monster. Hasn't been for the we last few years. We haven't seen it, right, because he's not 100% healthy. I don't think there's any chance Shubman Gill is the captain. No chance whatsoever. I think it'll be Hardik just because he's that all-rounder. He has the potential. People love him for the potential because they've seen what he can do in the past, and then he got not so right. Um, Rashid Khan, you're right. There's no other bowlers that I can think of right now, at least, that are captains as bowlers. I still think it can happen. I really do. But I'm not sure what kind of demeanor, what kind of personality Rashid Khan has sure. for this. But one thing that's interesting that I did not think about until you were talking is – Hardik Pandy as a captain, it makes a little bit of sense because he's on a team, when he was on that team, they won four titles. He's been there, he's done that time after time, and he's been able to see and watch the best captain in the IPL. Sorry, Doni. You guys are going to kill me for it. It's the most successful captain in the IPL. He's seen his tutelage the last several years. So I'm sure they're hoping, because we see that all the time in sports. Does it right. always work out? No. But we right. see that all the time in sports. They've been there. They know what it's like to win a championship. Let's bring some of that to our team. All right. Now let's look at the aggregate, okay? Let's look at the batsmen that they selected. 
versus the bowlers they said get elected and see who you think he did better. I, I, I'll begin, okay? K.O. Raul, best batsman of the bunch, by far, in my yeah. opinion. All right? Unfortunately, That's right true. now, if we're talking about all-rounder, and it's funny, they both went batsman, all-rounder, bowler. As far as the all-rounder is concerned, I'm sorry. Marcus Stoinis, even though we didn't give him the credit earlier, Marcus Stoinis, uh, 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 we've seen him take wickets. We've seen the guy bat. Stoinis at least shows up on the uh, on the map as far as, like, being on there. Like I said, maybe he didn't bowl last year. Um, that was a possibility because of the injury, Nick. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, 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 of my head. But, uh, uh, again, Hardik Pandya scored, what, 127 runs last year? And, and how many games? He ended up playing 12 games. You know what? Interesting. Some, oh, how did Stoinis only play 10 games? I'm confused here. But only seven innings. That means he didn't get to bat those other innings. It must be, or he left. Because he comes in, he comes in so late. Okay, and okay, so that's what happened. Because I'm just looking at pure stats here, and Stoinis um, scored 89 runs in, uh, in in seven innings, basically that he actually batted. So the average is a little bit better. With that being said, I like having the flexibility of having an Indian player because now you don't have to worry about you know you only being able to play. For overseas batsmen, it leaves you more flexibility. Then, of course, to me, Rashid Khan is is you know you know a, a far better, far better leaps and bounds. I mean, a light years ahead of Bishnoi. But the tiebreaker is having a captain, opening batsman, and oh yeah, by the way, a wicket keeper. I love the Kale Rahul move. So to me, Lucknow to me won this a uh, uh, mini auction, so to speak so to speak, or it's not even an auction. They was just able to go pluck and plunder and steal people's players. What is your uh, um, wow. an analysis of, uh, of what both teams did? All right. So I, I think of these six players, just being honest, I think Stoinis is the weakest of the six. Okay. I think, and it's tough when you compare amazing spin bowler to amazing batsman, captain, all that kind of stuff. I don't think KRL is an amazing captain, but he gets a new franchise. We're going to see how much of that King, you know, persuasion got in the way. Right. So let's say it's, it's one, a one B KRL will slight edge over Rashid Khan. Right. Stoinis is the weakest in the bunch. I think Shubman Gill is the, is the second weakest of the bunch. Okay. And so then you got Hardik Pandya and you got Stoin and you got Bishnoi. Bishnoi's so young, but I love this guy so I much. Love but looking at Hardik Pandy, because you asked about how he has not thrown a ball the two seasons that we watched, which makes sense the way we're feeling. He has not thrown he has not bowled, excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna get killed right now. He has not bowled one ball in the IPL the last two seasons. But the two seasons before that, when he was bowling, 14 wickets, 18 wickets. Okay. Can you imagine that on your squad? Hey. Oh my goodness gracious! And this guy could score some runs, so I would put him above Bishnoi, assuming he's healthy. I don't know if we have Mr. Glass or if they have. I say we, <laughs> if they have Mr. Glass, Hardik Pandey or not. So uh, you know, I gotta go against you. I'm gonna say I think Aminabad just barely. I think both are really close with the three players they took. What will really be the tail of the tape is the other players that they take in here. Right. Um, that'll be really really interesting. But if I had to choose, I would put Amitabad just a little bit. And honestly, it's probably even. But since you chose the other one, that kind of like gave me a little reason to choose yeah. Amitabad. But you, you got a great point with K.R. Raul. I'm just not too high on the Stoinis cho choosing. But they obviously I, I, know something I don't. You, you know, as well as I do, that was the one pick I did not like. Uh, because I think that now there's going to be other international players that now you down to. If you're smart, okay. You can only play four at the same time. So you retaining Stoinis means you expecting oh, him to be you, part you, of your you play him. every yeah. single time. Really? Yeah, you got to. You got to. Really? That there was no one else. There was no one else that you would have said, "Oh, this guy's gonna be part of my playing eleven every time." Really? All right. Just saying. Just saying. He wasn't even part of DC's <laughs> playing eleven every time. DC didn't think that much of him, but Lucknow does. Come on, man. And on the other side, listen. I love Shubman Gill. You know that. 
but he failed already with uh, KKR. He couldn't lead that team as an opening batsman. I get it. He struggled with having partnerships or whatever. And, and, and DK was really the captain. So was um, Owen Morgan. But they did mm -hmm. not retain a young opening batsman. So what does that tell you? They don't believe in him, Nick. They, didn't, they held on to Andre Russell. Andre needs a Band-Aid Russell. And I'm a West Indies fan. Oh, wow. What? I'm That's sorry, classic. Class. The dude's always hurt. <laughs> that is classic. That, that tells you they don't believe in him. I'm sorry. I, I, I just, the Shubman Gill pick, okay. Hardy Panda really blows my mind. Unless they looked at his x-rays, they got some miracle back doctor. They got on the phone with Dr. Jihan and said, hey. ready to play this year? Is it back <laughs> hey, man. Got some it worked for David Warner. Is that what it is? They saw David Warner's growing doctor. He fixed the bet. All right, cool. If it's the if it's you got the a brother that you talked about two years ago. All right, I'll take thirty nine uh, or thirty two wickets <laughs> in twenty nine games. But if it's the Hardik Pandya the last two years we've seen that comes in at six or at, at, at five does not bowl contribute what last year I said one hundred and twenty three runs in like thirteen games or twelve games. Really. That's who you give max money to? No, nah, no, nah, I, I can't do it. Can't do it. That's just my opinion, though. The last thing I want to hear from you, and I'll say it myself as well, are are the snubs, right? The ones you're surprised about that are available on the block and and did not get chosen. I think they did well, right? I think they did well. And there's a lot of guys, top guys that aren't available. There's a lot of guys we're assuming that aren't going to come back and play. But let me let me start off with a few of my snubs. I already mentioned Dev Dipatico. I shocked by that, but maybe it's, it's just that RCB. Like no one wants to touch anything from RCB. It's just like no, I don't want I don't want that juju, right? And then the other one I'm really surprised about talking about RCB is Purple Patel, right? I mean this guy, and I get it. He had a an amazing. He was eight wickets above anyone else in second place. Bro. I mean, it was tortoise in the hair when he was out there. It was absolutely unbelievable. They didn't pick him up. And then the third guy, you know I'm super surprised about this one. No one took my man Chris Wilkes. I mean, Chris Wilkes, come on. Now, I'm curious. To be serious for a second, and, and of course, don't forget about Khalil Ahmed. Don't forget about him. But oh my, listen. You with Khalil Ahmed, bro. Khalil, <laughs> you must be the biggest Khalil Ahmed uh, uh, fan <laughs> ever, bro. I might be the only ever. one. I might be the only one. Listen. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, guys. This before, way before the IPL prediction show, he's gonna be your your um your purple cap. All right, but anyways, <laughs> to be serious for a second, I love those two guys so much. To be serious for a second, I'm curious: was a phone call made to David Warner's people or to David Warner himself? Are you coming back because we're seeing what you're doing and we're liking it a lot, and we would love to have some of that in our new squad? If you're an Australia fan, you are hoping, you are praying, and let us know in the comment section already confirmed that he doesn't come to the IPL because he's doing amazing things for international. Let him rest. Let him keep being a monster. But I'm curious if anyone called him up. But those are a few. I mean, you could throw a robot out there too. Those are a few. Dewan, is this guy ever going to play cricket again? Holy cow. I, I hope nothing but the best for this guy. Those are just a few of my snubs. Khalil Ahmed yeah. being the top one. You just hit the nail on the head. Seeing what David Warner has done, I mean, from turning it on, they just won a T20 World Cup. Now David Warner is is I destroyed uh, in the ashes. Gosh, yeah, like they they dropped this guy. So correct me if I'm wrong. He did not get retained unless something happened. No. We didn't hear he's flown out there in space somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So like, what exactly? I don't understand. I absolutely do not understand. And maybe it was like uh, uh, the guy's getting older. I don't know. I don't know. But you want a guy who can become a captain, right? You want a guy to lead your franchise. I'm sorry. I'd much, much rather have a David Warner than a, a, a Stoinis, Marcus Stoinis. They're both Aussies. But one guy I could have put at the top of my lineup along with Kale Raul to open. That guy could be also help out with a partnership. And the same thing on the other side. Like, I don't understand that David Warner to me was a complete, uh, what do you call it? it was just, it, it, I'm just shocked. I cannot believe that happened. And there's something that uh, we're not being told. Maybe he's going to opt out. Here's another thing. There's a couple of teams that, in my opinion, are in trouble, Nick, 
because recently Ben Stokes came out and just pulled his name from the IPL list. I believe right. I've heard that supposedly England is going to focus on their next test series because of the embarrassing whitewash they had uh, oh. in the ashes. Think about the English players that are out there, the Johnny Barristokes, the Josh Butlers. Some of those teams <laughs> might have been counting on this is my retention. I know that, that they were planning on retaining Josh Butler. What if he pulls out? Now you're like, oh, gosh, I was planning on this. And maybe that's why they didn't know if David Warner was going to come back after he was poor, treated so poorly. I don't want to. I would have made the phone call. You know, he, you're right. They could have made a phone call and say, hey, are you planning on playing? Is your name in the hat? Because we're going to. So if not, it's probably the biggest snub. And, and there's there's nothing else to say. It, it's uh, You're nuts. You're nuts. Uh, David Warner is probably the number one or two batsman that should have been that, that should have been retained. I, um, I, bro, I'm sick to my stomach. That didn't happen. Bottom line, <laughs> Dude, they're like, we're gonna go Stoinis if you don't say yes, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nothing but love to Stoinis. Nothing but love to the two new teams. We want to hear from anyone that's already a fan. You're from these cities, or you have some kind of connection. Maybe your mom lives out there or some. Let us know who's already a fan of these two squads. Let us know if there's anyone like like me, a huge RCB fan that's thinking about uh, jumping ship. If I didn't get the new gear here, it might be time. Wow. 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 Listen, <laughs> Punjab Kings fans, eventually Nick and I will be in India. We would like to safely walk through the streets of Punjab. So what we're saying is tongue in cheek, all right? But let's be honest. You guys aren't happy with this, okay? If you guys are being oh, honest with yourselves, bro, bro, we're going to get a whole bunch of, of hate from Punjab. Bro, I'm I'm going to go to, you know, that Indian restaurant we, we, we go to, uh, 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 Mount Everest? We're going to check. Are you guys putting out Kings guys? Because we just might have made some more enemies. Bro. We, you can't, we can't come back. We walk in this Punjab. We refuse to use your food. How dare you think about being no, a Kings fan? Please get us on the phone right now. Like his address is Las Vegas, Nevada. He lives in the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him and the other loudmouth American too. Because they're mad. They're mad. But what do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell take you? Them out. <laughs> Listen, they come to our door. Pretty Zinta told you told me to take you out. Oh yeah, where are we going? <laughs> what restaurant? But uh, let us know what your thoughts, please. I mean, this is very exciting. If any, for those that are still watching here at the end of the video, Najib, you see my gear right here? Suck it, my friend. I got better gear than you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us here. Tell us what you think. And until next time, that six runs.